Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining me in my shop as I continue on with these two Crosley 12B slash C uh, chassis. So in the last video I posted uh, yesterday, uh, I kind of came to the conclusion that two tubes which were similarly worn out in these radios probably got brutalized through some kind of either design issue or some component drift situation that's causing those tubes to get beat up. And by that I mean they're probably conducting too much current all the time, running a little too hot, something of that sort. So there's a couple of resistors involved. This is the uh, tube. Then we've got the plate resistor here at 300K. And then we've got a grid resistor here at 10 mega ohms. Uh, this grid resistor would be playing a part in setting up the bias of the uh, grid along with this capacitor and I'm not sure how all this would really work for sure but these are the two resistors involved a 10 meg and a 300k so I spent an awful long time looking for <laughs> such resistors I've come up with these two which uh, should be 10 but measure at 11 these guys, which should be 10, but all of these measure at 12 and a half, which is kind of odd. And then uh, for the 300K resistor, I've got some 270K resistors. How bad off were those 300K resistors in here anyway? Can't remember now. Let's take a look before I. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? Sure, it looks like orange, black. That's low. That one's low. Now, measuring low, when you're measuring resistors in a circuit, well, it could just be the other elements of the circuit are, are causing that. This one's also measuring way low. Uh, the 300K, is that true? Can you, can you, sometimes you can measure these while they're in the circuit, sometimes you can't. 300k, so it's a, from a measurement point of view, it's a dead ender this way. Yeah, I should be able to measure that. So that should have been an accurate measurement. So those, those measure low. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace them. We'll see. In fact, I'll keep the camera rolling. I'll cut these, these two guys out and we'll take a look at what they really measure at outside of the radio. K. Yeah, so it is measuring low. Orange, black, yellow. We're measuring low. Wait a minute. Read that again, Jim. Not measuring low. It's way high. Hello. You see, even before I started shooting this video this morning, I wore myself out by digging around trays of hundreds of resistors trying to find some suitable ones. Just to double check the uh, one I'm going to put in. 280, that's good. Just short of 300, that's perfect. Okay, let's see this other guy. Quite clearly, orange, black, yellow. And that's a million. It should be 300. It's reading a million, so three times too high. So these 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 are way out. And they are the uh, they're the plate resistor. I don't think you can afford to have this that far out. I really don't. Plate resistor. 
And those the plate resistors take a bit of a current when they're operating. Maybe that's why they have met their demise here. Okay, so I'm going to solder these guys in. You know, maybe I should cut out the other ones and measure them outside. No, I won't do that. Let's change them. I'll change them here. Okay, I got the four resistors in. Let's just take a look at these two supposedly 10 mega ohm resistors and see how they test outside here. Well, same as what I was getting uh, in the read. Actually, it's higher. Okay, this is the other one. Oh my gosh, it's going to come right exactly on 10. <laughs> ah, okay, so one was high and one was not. So, I, you know, I don't think these, these are the uh, grid leak resistors. Uh, I don't think they were a critical factor here. If, if anything, it's the plate, the two plate resistors. So that means it's time now to try these radios out. And uh, try to, and I guess we'll look at the plate voltage or something. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's just get them, let's get them going here. Okay, that's the ground for the meter. Good. Power on. Okay, looking at those dim bulbs. I did make changes of significance. Chance of error is there. Get ready right away to measure. Even with the, uh, we'll leave the dim bulbs in the circuit right now. And we'll take a look at uh, supply side voltage. It's very low. 90. Tube side, 60. I think that's a better ratio. Let's try over here. Oh my gosh, what a difference. Oh my, 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 my. What's happening here? Well, this happened before with these radios when they're on restricted power. One of them develops full B plus and the other one doesn't. So let's put it on full power here. I'll compare again. Okay, I'm on the 500 volt scale on the meter. Okay, this one over here first. Supply side of the resistor, just under 300 volts. And the tube side, <coughs> 100 volts. Okay, over here, supply side, just under 300, exactly the same, and the other side, exactly the same at 100. I'm going to guess 100 is appropriate. Now, grid grid voltage. Again, hard to measure, but let's give it a shot here. 5 volt scale, and meters inversed now. Uh, negative goes up scale. I think that's the grid there. this is the grid. So there's the grid. 1.5 volt scale coming in at 0.6. And this radio here, 0.6. We're getting exactly the same. 0.6. Minus 0.6. It's supposed to be minus between minus 1 and minus 2, but it's a 100 volt B plus, so it's a low B plus. You know, I think I think we're probably okay. Now there's still a whole lack of capacitors to fiddle around with here. That might might have some influence on it. But uh, so did we really save these guys? Uh, 
these tubes. Um, so the voltage drop across the plate resistor. Ah, that was a bit of a mistake there. Let's try that again. So we got two, 280 on one side. 100, that's easy math. 180 volts dropping across a 270K resistor. Quick, who can do that math? The math's okay, it's the arithmetic part that throws me off. So, what do we got? We got uh, 270. Ah, make it 300 for easy easy calculating. 300K resistor and dropping across it was 180 volts. So let's call it 200 for easy calculation. So uh, I equals pressure over resistance gives it the current. The pressure is 200. The resistance is 300K. That looks like uh, two thirds, two thirds of a milliamp. Two thirds of a milliamp. That's fine. That's good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I'm not absolutely sure I actually helped anything here, but certainly got rid of some some bad resistors in favor of some good ones. Um, is the, are those tubes now in a better operating condition? than they were. Was that really the problem anyway? Is that why the two tubes bit the dust together before? I don't know. But anyway, so much for that. Uh, a little experiment there. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll just carry on with the general restoration of these two radios from here. See you on the next video.